tons of people frustrated because we told them they had to be good before they could be accepted by God. Or that they must do certain things to please or appease the Lord and earn his good favor. Yeah, yeah. However, nothing could be farther from the truth. Can I preach it today? Uh, salvation is the work of God. Uh, somebody missed your shout. It's okay. Salvation is the work of God. And, and the message is, ain't nobody save me like Jesus. Can't nobody. I don't care who you try to find. Can't nobody. Uh, searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody. Nobody greater. No. 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 Nobody. Nobody greater. And and, and, and so and so and, and so and so and so let's 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 make our let's make our. Uh, let, let's let's make our trip. There are three things I want you to see from the text. Number one, notice the message of salvation revealed the message of salvation revealed the message and couched in the message of salvation being revealed paul again he deals with the condition of israel he he, he has a heart's desire i love verse 10, uh, verse 1 of chapter 10 he says my heart's desire and prayer to god for israel is that they might be saved he says, I'm praying that they will be saved, not, not, not annihilated, not destroyed, uh, not kicked to the curve. I'm praying that they will be saved. Soteria, soteria, uh, saved, this is a Greek word, soteria. And it means to be rescued from all harm and danger. Listen, new birth and friends, we ought to be just like apostle paul we ought to love the lost help me somebody and then we ought to reach out to them in the name of jesus with the good news of salvation you don't reach out to people and condemn them you gotta reach out with love you gotta tell them that god is about to save them if they would surrender that tell your neighbor that's good news that's that that's good news we we gotta have a heart for unsaved people we have to have a desire to it, we're selfish because we want to be the only one saved in the family. We want the rapture to come now and you got a slew full of family members who are not saved. Don't go to church, don't do nothing for Jesus. But you want to go to heaven and leave them to go to hell. I got some cousins I want saved. Y'all Mr. Y'all Mr. Shout. I got some cousins, I got some I got some friends that I want saved. Family saved. Are you happy to be the only saved one at the at the family reunion? Heart's desire. My heart's desire. That's what the church is all about. That, that's what Jesus is all about. Heart's desire. And prayer to God for pooking them. Is that they might be saved. Uh, stop talking about where, they, where the pants are. Ask them, are you saved? Because if you get your soul right, you'll be able to pull up your pants. We're worried about the wrong thing. We're worried about pants and hair. And going to hell with their pants all the way up like Urkel. It ain't about the pants. Y'all ain't liking me today. The condition of Israel, and then he moves to the confusion. I gotta hurry. He, he, he moves to the confusion. Israel because he says he says for I bear them record they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge he says for, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness here it is sounds like us uh, have gone about establishing their own righteousness 
Yeah. And have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Uh, uh, Paul is saying that, that his Jewish brothers and sisters, just like the Gentiles, they desire to please their works. And they totally dismiss the revelation that we have in the word of God, that God is pleased when we have faith in him. Hebrews 11, 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that seek him. Preach Victor Tyrone Curry. See, true righteousness can never be produced by the works of the flesh. Say it again, Bishop Curry. True righteousness, I said true, not self-righteousness. True biblical righteousness can never be produced by the works of my flesh. So now here's the theological question. Why? Here's the theological answer. Because the flesh is a mess. 